I'm Chris. Let's uh, let's talk about some uh, list stuff. It's gonna be exciting. All right, so we head over to our. Oh no, get out of here. All right, so let's uh, get rid of David here. All right, so we're on a classic warrior horses side, and the uh, the horses have noticed um, a pattern uh, in their sleep lately. Right, so they've decided to start keeping a dream diary uh, to see what they can do with that and kind of analyze what's going on. And, uh, man, I wish I had turned on focus mode. Oh, I did, but I don't know. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a list for that, but uh, we're not going to call it a dream diary. That's uh, that's no good for warrior horses. So we'll call it uh, something a little more generic, say, uh, nighttime think thinks. That sounds good. And we'll create it without the spaces there so that it creates the URL the way I want it. And then I gotta go ahead and see that. It even knew it for a second there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and we're going to blomp, blomp, blomp. I'm not even sure if that's necessary anymore. All right, let's save that. Boom, nighttime think things. Now, for our nighttime think things, we want to be tracking both dreams and nightmares. All right, so one of the things I've done ahead of this call is I went over to my content type hub. You can believe it. So you have a content type hub too. So it is at your, you can read that tiny URL. It's a content type hub. So it's at site slash content type hub. There you'll find this very exciting site. Uh, which really isn't for anything but the content type. So if we go to site settings, we can see our content type gallery here. If I go on our site content types, and you'll see there are some, it's a weird mix we're going to be seeing today in some of these screens of very old school uh, with modern, right? So it's it's a real mix here. Sorry, we can return to classic. Uh, but in this case, right, any content types we do here, we can actually publish out to our various sites. Uh, there have been a lot of changes thanks to syntax and some other things. Uh, to make all that work, but this is all included with your standard licensing. So, wow, so that's great news. All right, so what we're going to do is we've got a content type I've already created, all right? So if we uh, were to take our category and we're going to filter just so we can see them here and we go to horses, we'll apply that. So I've got this dream content type I've gone ahead and created. So what I can do is I can head back over here uh, to our nighttime think things. Uh, and when I hit add column, you'll notice I don't have any real options here, but if I go first to my list settings, again, we're gonna go to these classic settings with a mix of our modern settings. We'll go to our classic thing here, go to advanced settings. And we're gonna say, allow management of content types. And this is kind of what it's saying here. And we're just gonna, hey, okay. All right, boom, now we go back to our list. And now we could have tried to go the traditional way of adding content types and all that stuff, this is the way to, you're going to want to do it now, right? So you're going to add column. Now that we've done that, we have this add a content type. So we're going to click that. And now we're going to see all our content types that are available. Uh, you know, these are from the content type hub. These do not exist on this site, right? So we're going to add our dream content type. Now we could just hit apply. Um, it'll add it, but we have a couple other options if we click it. One, we can preview what's in here. Right? We can see exact columns that are in here. Um, and we get these two options. So by default, it's going to add a view. It's just going to filter on that content type. I like that. We're going to keep it. Um, and then to save time, I'm going to go ahead and add the columns to current view. If you don't do that, you're going to have to go add them manually, right? So I'm going to hit apply. And we'll wait a second here while it adds that content type and adds those columns to our view. And boom, it says, that it. there we go. Now we've got some exciting columns here. That's great. Thank you. All right. So boom, now we got that. That's cool. Um, and so let's add a, uh, a dream here. So let's just add friendly little dream for fun all right so we have new item new dream which is not quite what we want we'll come back to that so we've got a new dream here and we're just gonna say this is rainbows and butterflies that sounds great and, uh you know it was beautiful butterflies did stuff it doesn't matter right and this happened uh tonight apparently we're gonna dream about this tonight what were we eating we had some oats all right and we encountered three rainbows and we uh slaughtered two enemies it was a wonderful dream and we're gonna save that so that's great. So now we've got one of these. But what if we want to do, you know, nightmares? We've enabled content types for a reason, right? So it's a little arbitrary, but we're going to add a new content type called nightmare. So if we go back to our content type gallery, I'm going to create a content type and call this a nightmare, right? And we'll say, put this in horses. And our parent category is going to be list content types. And we're just going to pick an item. There we go. We're not going to do any fancy inheritance with the dream. All right, so now we've got a nightmare, and we're going to add our site columns from existing site columns. Go to our categories. We're going to go to horses. All right, and now we're going to add some of those same kind of columns we had before, right? So we already have the title that comes from item. So we're going to add vision, uh, and then what else? We have at night, 
right? It's like the night that the thing happened, what snack they were eating. But then we don't care about rainbows encountered or enemy slaughter, right? This is a this is a nightmare. Right? Instead, we want to know how many hooves were severed, right? And were the clowns present? Perfect. All right, so let's save that. There we go. Now we've got a content type, and we're just going to publish that. Go ahead and make that available. Wow. Let's see what we got here. Boom. So now if we go back to our site with our nighttime think thinks, all right? And let's see, uh, I'm just going to refresh to make sure. All right, so we refresh, and we're going to say, you know, that same uh, add column menu. Let's click it that way. So we can say add a content type. Or we can see we already have dream loaded, but now we should see nightmare. Woo! So we had nightmare. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Um, I'm not going to add the columns to the current view. So that's fine because we already have most of those columns, and I don't really want these shown up just yet. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to add that. And it's going to add that content type. And one thing that we're going to want to do just to kind of clean this up is, you know, I don't want item in there, right? I just want my dream and my nightmare. So I'm going to go back to my list settings, that classic settings. And I'm going to go down here to the item content type. And this is the copy for the list. I'm going to say delete this content type. I'm just deleting the item content type on this particular list. So no worries. All right, so now when I do that, now I don't have that in the drop down, right? I just have the two things, dream and nightmare. So that's awesome. So it's at a nightmare. You know, we'll call it a rabbit attack. All right, those dang rabbits. They had saws and said mean thanks. Those dang rabbits. All right, that's great. And we'll say, man, we read some some casserole. That probably explains a lot of them. They severed three, three hooves, but there were no clowns. All right, so we're going to save that. And let's add one more nightmare here just for fun. All right, and we'll just say uh, J. Knight. <laughs> Bugo. That sounds great. Gross! All right, we'll call that gross, and we were definitely eating more of that casserole. Or right, we'll say we're eating some oats this time, right? Uh, no hooves are severed, but they were uh, definitely clowns present. All right, so we're going to save that. All right, so the idea here is uh, we've got this, right? So maybe we've, we're going to eliminate some of these columns that are, you know, are specific to a column type. So let's go here and we can hide the column or we can go, you know, show hide columns and we'll just do it quicker. All right, we'll just remove those two off of there. So one of the things here is it's not very easy to distinguish between these, right? And this is a formatting demo. So let's talk about how we're going to format these, right? So let's come up here and let's format the current view. Now, one of the things we can do is very quickly, we can manage our rules here, which is very cool. Um, where we can add conditional rules where we say like, by default, don't do anything right. But let's say if it's a nightmare, we want to do something. Well, unfortunately, content type isn't a choice here unless we specifically add it as a column. So for now, we're just going to pick a random one because we're going to swap it out in a minute. We're going to say is equal to nightmare. Obviously, that's not going to do anything because we're not having any titles that are equal to nightmare. But what we're going to do is we're going to say more styles. And let's say no styles. The only thing we want to do is add a border on the left, right? And we'll say nice and thick, and we'll make it uh, this red color, beautiful. So we save that. It's not going to do anything because we didn't actually have content type. But if we wanted to actually do something on content type, now that we've done that, we can go to advanced mode where we can see it generated the JSON for us with exactly what we want. The difference is instead of link title, we don't want that. We want it to be content type. So when we preview that, boom. There we go. Now our nightmares have this little red border, so we can easily distinguish them, even though we don't have any other columns that are showing that, which is really cool. All right, so we can save that. The idea here is we could rewrite this as Excel style thing, but why not keep their weird operator operand stuff? Because it's easy to update. Now I could also reference content type ID. All right, so I could put a capital I and a lowercase d in here, and I could reference it by the GUID. Uh, part of the issue with the GUID is that will not be the GUID of the content type from the hub. Uh, that'll be the full GUID of the local copy of the content type in your list. Now, you could easily do it like a starts with to, to do with some of that ID. I highly recommend just not messing with that. Just use the internal name with content type. The nice thing is, again, it's not part of the view, and you don't have to add it to the view. It's always available. So, wow. So, there we go. There's our additional row class. Very exciting. But let's go a little further. All right. So, let's say we want to create a new view. And before I create this, I am actually going to add those columns back here because there's a weird thing with the uh, the view I want to add, where it's not going to add those columns unless they're part of the one you copied the view from. So let's see, I'm just going to copy all of those for now. I'm going to hit apply, all right? Uh, and one thing also to note is that 
this column, the site column, had a format associated with this custom format, right? That shows this clown or not. Um, and all that came down. And if, if I updated the site column at the content type level, that will get published down. And the publishing usually takes 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, although you can go to your content types here and hit update. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for something a little quicker. Again, check out the documentation on that. But okay, so we got this. I'm going to create a new view. All right, so I've got my dream and my nightmare. Those are the views that created automatically, right? And that's what the content type, that was that checkbox. Uh, one thing I like to do on these, by the way, is just edit the current view because uh, it bugs me that it's called dream because that was the name of the content type. I just have a little S. <laughs> it's very minor, but uh, it makes me feel better. All right, so now we've got the idea of dreams um, rather than dream, right? So let's go back to our all items view. And now let's create a new view. And we're going to create a board view, right? And we're just going to call this uh, snack distribution because we're pretty sure those snacks have a lot to do with this, right? So we're going to do that based on the snack, right? So what that's going to do is going to create this lovely board view and it's going to sort everything according to the snacks we were eating or the horses we were eating before they went to bed. And it's created these kind of card views and that's pretty cool, right? We can actually drag these things around. We can say it wasn't oats, it was hay, right? And that's awesome, All right? It's going to update that snack field and that's really cool. But again, we don't really have the content type visible here um, in a way. I'd also want to say one weird thing is this, this plus button is going to add a the first content type, right? So it'll add dream. If you want to specifically choose one, you have to choose it up here. All right. But what we could do is we could say customize card, right? And we could say, yeah, we want to show all these fields. Now, one thing to note is this empty cells will not be shown on the card, right? So by default, if you didn't fill out one of these things, um, you know, they're not going to show up here. Now, ours are all required, so they're going to show up. Uh, but all that's really doing is if you go to advanced mode, there's a display thing. You could just change the format for that. Okay, so that's going to show all of our things, and that's very cool. But again, we want to make a little more obvious what's going on. So let's do that. All right, so if we come over here, we've got this idea of our root level has this border, right? And we can say things. So maybe we just want to set a border around this to say when it's a nightmare, let's make it a red border, right? So very similar. That way we can see exactly what's a nightmare and what's not. Uh, we can go with it from there. So. What we could do is we can add that stuff here. So we've got this idea of classes that are being added. If you want to know more about these classes, we have this lovely grouping. So if you go to our main list formatting site and you go to groupings. So this is a way to sort samples by class. Uh, but one of the things I use it for is we list all of them regardless if there are samples or not. So this is a great reference just to see what classes are available to you. As you can see, there's just a whole heck of a lot of them, right? All right. So let's come back here, but that is where we're getting those. I think, yeah, David's got the link, perfect. All right, so let's come back over here to our website. And one other thing I wanna note is some of these classes are very opinionated, like border radius doesn't just set a border radius, it also turns the border off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just remove that because we want the border. So I'm gonna pull that out. Uh, and when I do that, it'll actually set, it's gonna be very tiny border radius and I'll go to six. Ah, that's terrible, right? So if we really are sticklers and we want it to match exactly, right? We can restore the border radius to four pixels to make it exactly that without that uh, exciting class here. That's really all that one did. So now we've got our four pixels back, but that takes away the fact that we had no border that we could set. So what we wanna do is we wanna set that border, right? So we've got a color here, neutral light, right? And if we change that to red, Right now we should see red shows up and that's cool, right? And if we wanted to change the, the size of that, right? We can, we can say here and we say border width and we could say what, three pixels. We can really see it for our demo here. Okay, but the problem is, right? This is not conditional. It's on all of them, regardless of their nightmares or not. So let's change that, right? So we don't want three red borders. We wanna make that conditional. So instead of putting it right there, let's cut that and let's convert this from just a plain value to an expression. So the easiest thing to do is just put an equals and then wrap those things in single quotes. And now we can add to that string, right? So we can say plus and we can say if, and we say blah, 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 content type like that, equals, equals, right? Nightmare, right? Well, then let's make it that uh, red we talked about, right? And if it's uh, not that, you know, let's put a quote, then we're going to say, uh, what was that? Neutral. That sounds good. Neutral. So this will be themed based neutral light. So now if we do that, let's preview. Aha. So now our dream has just that nice gray. So it's very easy to tell the difference. Again, you could go 
uh, a lot crazier with this, right? You can get some cool icons. You could conditionally show things. You could even fully remove, you know, like have the cards be completely different uh, per content type. Uh, this is a quick demo, so we're not going to do all that. But that's, again, this is the basic pattern, though, where you're going to just be investigating the content type and then setting things based on that. All right, so let's save that. And let's do one more thing with this just for fun. Um, and that's that we're going to come over here and, uh, oh, I just noticed it didn't bring our clowns present in as our as our column format reference. So that's easy to fix. If you ever want to go in there, you just say hey, column format reference, which is what's happening with Snack. But we're going to skip it for now because of time. Because I want to show you the other thing here, which is edit the current view. Oh, one quick thing. There's some weird things at the board. Don't hit customize card again. It will kill everything. So don't do that, right? Or save at least. You want to format the current view to be able to get back to that. Okay, so there's a exciting tip. So let's format that current view. And we're just going to add a little thing right up here. And we're going to say command bar props, right? Because we want to do things with that. Say that. And we're going to add a little comma. Woo. And we say our commands. And so with our commands, this is just an array of commands we want to apply things to. We reference them with key. This is referencing these buttons up here. So in this case, we care about the share, right? So we don't want people sharing anything but their nightmares, we'll say. That sounds exciting, <laughs> right? And so the way we do that is we say hide. And right, so we could say just true. And when we say true, the share button's gone, right? But let's do that conditionally. Instead of true, let's put this equals if. And we're going to say uh, content type. We don't actually need the if because we just need it to reference it. So we're going to say content type. Woo! Content type. All right. In this case, I'm actually going to say not equals uh, nightmare. Right. I know that's a little strange. Right. So the reason for that is now we don't have the share button up here. Right. And when I click this, I can share because it's a nightmare. But if I click this, I can't share it because it's a dream. And the reason is this is really weird because hide is true, right? So show is false. It's a little weird. So you'll just have to think through that logic. Uh, but the idea is we don't have to write a full if statement or anything else. We just need a condition that evaluates true or false. Okay, so let's wrap it up. We're done here. Okay, one last thing here. Again, I mentioned this idea that, so I actually presented on this uh, four and a half years ago, if you could believe it or not. And at that time, if you added content type, it broke everything. Now it's fine. It's fixed. So don't worry about that. Uh, but again, I highly recommend using this, not this, um, though you can use both. All right, and last thing, go check out the docs. There is a sample that shows how to reference all these things, the content type variations, which will go through that. It also has an emphasis on provisioning and how all that's supported. Um, but again, all of the format and everything goes through the content type hub as well. So it's an awesome way to use it. And uh, that's it. Wow.